It's really encouraging as a young person to see a direct impact on your community. To me, this project's basically about bringing our whole community together. It's something you can look back on and be proud of. I just think it's overall really cool that we can leave our mark on the city. It makes me feel like we're all one team, you know, in the community. People get to walk by and watch what we're doing and get excited about this public piece of artwork. It's transformative. Public art is like an easy way to just get people's attention. Life in a Tapestry, the Alley Art Project's 13th annual mural. We began by selecting this year's teaching mural artist, Betsy Casanias from Philadelphia and Puerto Rico, and it was just wonderful to have a Latinx artist working with us. Following that, we moved on into Zoom classroom discussions with the students about how to design their mandalas, which would be featured on the mural. Students worked with Betsy via Zoom because of the pandemic, and we used our collection, the Diné textiles that Betsy selected to be the source of inspiration and ideas for this year's design. And she really nourished this entire process along. Wonderful and encouraging students to work on certain details, giving them some feedback, but really letting them sort of guide their creations. So much fun being on the ground, painting with students. All the anticipation leading up to that point, I think, was more exciting than previous years because of the pandemic. The first few days, it was beautiful sunshine. We thought we were ahead of schedule. Then we come to week two and it's pouring. So we're setting up tents and tarps and hoping and crossing our fingers that the paint doesn't drip. So it always keeps us on our toes, which is also you know, very exciting. It allows us to build those really close relationships and really get to know the people that you're working with. It's been amazing, really getting to learn from her how she breaks down the process. I've been really impressed at all of the systems in place. It's really organized. When I'm working in community, I tend to create murals that have a lot of patterns so that folks can participate and they can fill in large areas. We just kept adding layers and adding detail. It's really cool to be able to collaborate, to know that we're all contributing to one thing, even though we each have our individual pieces. Seeing diversity represented, seeing bright colors, seeing artists and students working together, I think it really helps to knit the community together. Thinking about the mandalas with the students, it was that idea of each little part of that mandala was a representative of their past, present, and future. Each student then built on those to create that whole mandala. Finding a creative, expressive outlet to share these thoughts and emotions and then put them on a building wall in our community. We've worked on this piece for months and months, and it's finally here. It is obvious that each of us were inspired by each other to create meaningful art that would add to the beauty in our community. This is a thread that weaves through our community now that tells everybody who comes here who we are, a community that values public art. Three, two, Art on the streets, in the alleyways, sort of brightens up those alleyways, makes them feel like safe spaces, and also provokes conversation, provokes dialogue. And if you think about each thread being a storyline or connecting to an individual and how they're all woven together, they become stronger and our community is strengthened by all the people and the collaboration that's involved in each project. It imparts this idea of the future isn't written for any of us yet. It is continually developing as we sew our threads in there. We now have this beautiful masterpiece on Corning's North Side and we look forward to seeing more public art in our community in the future. Public art becomes an extension of what the museum is trying to do. Folks just feel like, you know, sometimes the museums are for the elite and you take it out onto the streets and it becomes a whole different story.